All right, Nick, let's talk about the Baltimore Ravens here for just a moment. Pro Bowl weekend has come and gone. Uh, we got to see a lot of Raymond, Ravens, whether it's current guys, whether it's former Ravens players that are on new teams. There's a lot of Ravens faces out on the field. And even on the coaching staff, Ray Lewis was on the defensive side of the AFC coaching staff with Peyton Manning and Snoop Dogg. It's an elite coaching staff right there. But Ray Lewis had some very interesting comments, Nick, to say about some of the current Ravens players. Yeah, really interesting and wild stuff. But before we get into that, Ravens fans, Ravens flock, we want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. As we are now directly into the offseason, we're one week away from the Super Bowl. There's going to be a lot of opportunities for the Ravens to improve their roster, whether through free agency, through trades, or the draft. We want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. What position group do you think the Baltimore Ravens need to address more than any other? Let us know in the comment section below what position group you want them to improve on. But all right, Mize, give us the latest out of Baltimore. Yeah, Nick, uh, when Ravens media guy uh, Garrett Downing had interviewed Ray Lewis on the sideline, he talked about his uh, interaction with some of the younger linebackers out there, uh, specifically talking about Ravens linebacker Roquan Smith and how he wants to sit down and really go through film and work with him on all of the little stuff. He talks about them leaving equity on the field. He's going to you know, make the time investment into the video so you don't leave the equity out in the field is kind of what he alluded to it as in his interview. But he said he thinks with all these guys, and I think the people he included on the list is very important, Nick, because he talks about guys like Fred Warner, talks about guys like Demario Davis, two of the top tier linebackers in the NFL, uh, coupled with Roquan Smith. He says you clean up a few things here, there, and they're really going to make a huge, huge difference to this defense and bring them to even another level than where they were. And the Ravens defense at the end of the year, Nick, was at another level. They really, really morphed from the beginning of the season. It was probably the premier part of this team. So it's really interesting to see this. And I'm glad that Ray Lewis is involved in the Ravens organization still. And I'm glad that he's able to sit down with Roquan and they're able to go over stuff. What do you think about this interaction, Nick? Yeah, to me, I just kind of took a high level approach. This is further proof that the Baltimore Ravens are one of the preeminent organizations in the NFL. You don't get this kind of things right here from former players coming in and trying to impact some younger players that are in their in their own right. Roquan Smith's already a really nice player. You know, you could see a lot of players not even want to receive that criticism or not want to come in and help someone in Ray Lewis's case. But the fact you see this kind of organizational structure, how the Ravens do things, I think it's just a, just another uh, indicator of how well they are run as an organization. Because remember, my the last Last two seasons, the Baltimore Ravens have had every excuse in the world to be absolutely terrible, right? They've had injuries unlike anybody else. I, I remember in 2021, right? They literally famously, Harbaugh said they ran out of corners. Then, of course, Jackson got hurt. And, of course, this past year, Jackson got hurt, missed a lot of the last games, had numerous other injuries as, uh, as well. J.K. Dobbins missed a lot of time. Rashad Bateman finally looked like he was going to break out. Unfortunately, he got hurt. Other injuries at other key positions as well. Despite all of that, Mize, the Ravens have been in contention both seasons. In fact, they probably should have beaten the Cincinnati Bengals in the wild card round, if you ask me. That is a sign of an organization of a franchise that is run well. You have everyone from the leadership to the executive team, the general management group, to the coaches, to the players, to the former players, to the culture, to the environment, everything is just connected the right way there. And I think this is just another indicator. This is one of a million little signs. We see this all the time, right? Even everything going on with the Lamar Jackson drama, there's like no leaks. I mean, you and I were just talking before we filmed today. Anyone who supposedly has the scoop on this is kind of making things up, going off past data. There, there are no leaks out of the Baltimore organization. It's a tight run ship. Compare that to other organizations like the Packers and everything with Rodgers and the Raiders and Derek Carr, for example. They're, they're leaky ships to 110th degree. The, the Ravens, not at all. And I think we're just seeing an example here of one of the better run organizations, not just in the NFL, but I think in all of sports. Yeah, Nick, that, that's a really great point. The Ravens, they don't really leak information. And you can even go as far as to say, well, how did the information get out there about Jackson's contract in the first place? But that leak was reported from the NFLPA, and that's like from way before the season. That's where the information even came from in the first place. But it, I, I like what you say here because you see uh, Roquan Smith, like we said, the reason he's in Baltimore is because of a disagreement with the Bears front office. They can never get a deal done. He comes over to Baltimore. It was such a, a problem thing. You know, Roquan never was going to get a deal done. He didn't have an agent. Uh, he wasn't, you know, a guy that really was negotiating very nicely, but somehow, comes to Baltimore, he balls out, and then they pay him his money. He, he gets the deal done. So they're able to do stuff. They're able to handle delicate situations like that. That's why I have full confidence that they're going to do 
whatever is right for the organization with Lamar Jackson. And I'm glad that Roquan is here. He's playing at a high level. And now he's going to meet with Ray Lewis and play at an even higher level. Hopefully this will be a Hall of Famer helping coach out a future Hall of Famer here next.